hello, hello. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Let me tell you, let me give you quick updates about good news before my guest comes in. And I have somebody really cool joining us tonight. Uh, let me see. Okay, so uh, before my guest comes in, I'm going to bring you a quick update on the good news. Uh, let me see. Uh, people in Bihar woke up to see the Himalayas this morning. I mean, now this is serious. So if I think if you crane your neck really well now from Bangalore, you'll be able to see the Himalayas fairly soon. More and more people uh, are saying that they're able to see the Himalayas from their village. That's story number one. Uh, Abbott's uh, COVID-19 laboratory is based. Uh, antibody tests are now available, will be available in India by the end of May. That's a big deal as well. That's my second piece of, uh, you know, good news. Also, the fact that the it's called the Vande Bharat mission. We are going to fly back the largest number of Indians to have been, uh, you know, evacuated from anywhere. Uh, UAE, US, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, Qatar, Malaysia. Bangladesh, Kuwait, Philippines, Oman, Bahrain, uh, all of these places, we're going to send out flights and we're going to bring back people in distress. And that's very, very good news. That is good news as well. Uh, Telangana will run 40 special trains each day of the week to send migrant workers back to their homes. Telangana has actually done a fairly good job with the response on this. Um, and uh, let me also see, Jharkhand government launches three schemes to boost rural employment. The Jharkhand chief minister actually got nearly in several interviews where he basically was very upset that people of his state have had to go through what they have to go through simply to find work and he said he will do whatever he can to make sure they never have to leave their homes or their state ever again and be put through what they have been put through. Uh, Maharashtra government plans an outreach for better health and hygiene. Maharashtra government is by the way mass testing entire buildings of people right now uh, to screen because we actually have in Maharashtra the worst number of cases and the most pressure on doctors and hospitals and also Kerala which is the promised land because of the food and the uh, the, the greenery and uh, the fish and the toddy shops and general matriarchal societies and the education level and lower crime levels and all of that, Kerala has had the highest number of recoveries in one day and no new cases since Sunday. So Kerala is like, dude, we've got this. They're completely sorted out and now they've moved on to actually getting back on their feet. So that's a lot of good news that I brought to you today. But I have someone really cool joining us right now. Conversation. Uh, so let me see. I'm waiting for my good news guests. Uh, to actually, there it is, correct? Oh, there he is. That's my good news guest, Atul Kasbekar. Good evening. Hello, Faye. Hey, how are you? <laughs> nice lighting. <laughs> <laughs> it's the job. It's the job. I sit at this desk, this makeshift desk, from morning till night, and I'm doing Facebook lives and YouTube lives and Instagram lives. I'm just putting out news. So, um, you sound like you're as busy or busier than normal. I am far busier than normal. Uh, the lockdown has really pushed me to sort of figure out how to do this without needing like a team. Uh, so, which is figuring this out on our own now, which is kind of cool. So I just did a full debate, a one hour debate on this boys locker room thing on YouTube using right. just Zoom and my phone. But great guests. We talked about the legality. We talked about, you know, socially what this means, how we need to be changing parenting and things like that. Um, super. So we're figuring out how to do this now uh, without television. Yeah. <laughs> Before Sorry, anything else, I have to tell you the uh, the girls in my office. We had our office meeting on um, on video this morning on Zoom, and they said uh, they'll kill me if I don't uh, like tell you that they're all like super fans of yours, and especially Swati. So. Yay, Swati! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so now you know. You know, girls are awesome. I think girls are amazing. Amazing. Girls are awesome. All right. Hey, so best thing that ever happened. Yeah, that is true. That is true. So um, there's so many things I want to talk to you about. But there's one specific thing that I really believe you can help people out with. A lot of the guys who tune in to this live are young. They're also uh, 
people who work in art and people who work in films and people who work in photography and advertising, a lot of them work as freelancers. They have not had any formal work now for 40 days. And that's a very different feeling from those who have, say, jobs and your boss is sort of paying you, your employer is sort of paying you, so you're okay until you're not. This is a very different way of life. Uh, do you have any advice right now for those people who are wondering what to do? Well, um, first things first, I mean, hang in there. Mm. Uh, like most important. Uh, like, and I think things will get a lot worse before they get better. And I honestly am the eternal optimist. But uh, I'm also pragmatic about these things. Uh, the, the, the first place people will cut uh, budgets will be things like advertising. So if you're freelancing in the arts, chances are that there will be a slash uh, in the budget, which, by the way, we have forgotten that the economy was in like some serious doldrums uh, prior to this COVID thing. You know, now it seems like it's 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 in the doldrums because of COVID. It was, um, you know, shafted, shafted quite badly before this as well. So we could see that was happening in any case uh, across the board. But uh, um, I think it's also important to sort of um, have your fingers in more than one pie. And that I've always believed is, is a generally good idea because, you know, if something goes wrong, then uh, there's always something else that keeps you going in a float. So Give me an it, how would that, how would that work? So, I mean, apart from the photography bit that uh, I'd uh, been like doing for most of my life, uh, or certainly all my professional life is I figured that at some point, you know, um, it's not going to be a honeymoon forever because it's it's a young man's job in this country. And then whether you like it or not, you'll get older. So about uh, uh, 18 years ago, I started a company that managed celebrities, so which had nothing to do with the photography business per se. So that is uh, is on. Then we have interest in luxury, uh, you know, which is essentially like an advisory. That's the third thing. And then the fourth thing is producing movies. So, um, and uh, once in a while, I'll put a little bit of money in some tech startup or something. So far, so good. They're all right. So, so, but, nice, but I think, nice. yeah, but I think it's important to, yeah, you know, to diversify and not just be in any, in uh, any one thing, but that's, I suppose, a long-term game right now. I would just say hang in there, especially if you're in this sort of thing, then uh, whatever, but there's a lesson here. I think all of us by and large have realized that, you know, you can survive in eight t-shirts and four pairs of shorts and, you know, and you don't really need, like, I'm, I mean, I'm genuinely embarrassed as to the number of things I have, yeah, you know, and it's, it's like, I mean, and if Obama, uh, according to Michelle Obama, he wore the exact same black tuxedo, not suit, tuxedo, for eight years in the Oval Office, if it was good enough for Barack, it's good enough for anybody. <laughs> I know, it's, it's amazing how uh, we're walking around these homes full of things that we're not touching because we're actually yeah. just living in this like circular four t-shirts, uh, you know, three pairs of shorts and some four other things that you actually need to use. The rest of the stuff is just lying there. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, I, it's an embarrassment how many shoes I have and, you know, I have. <laughs> You're Sarah Jessica Parker then. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm Sarah Jessica Parker of Ted. Okay. So why does one person need so many kids? I'll stop now. <laughs> but yeah, so it's it's also a good time to introspect, right? Yeah, so A, I've, um, I, I read something the other day talking about, I think what happens is in the first week, you're in panic because you don't know what's happening. Then in the second week, you sort of, you know, figure from third week onwards, I just said that for all the times I said, I wish I had more hours in the day to do X, Y, Z, you know, uh, if you if you can't do it now, then uh, there's no excuse. You're just plain lazy and unmotivated. So let's that you know get that out of the way, right? So uh, because all said and done, they you know most people have that much time, and I haven't taken a photograph in a long time, you know, apart from from my smartphone. But uh, um, so I started relearning French, for example, relearning as in I only studied it to pass my 12th standard because I was focusing on engineering, so I just needed to like get through. So I downloaded Duolingo and started that. Then someone told me about this app called Healthify Me, which was quite good. So, yes. so yeah, so that was great because then I just, you know, tracked and I, I always work out really hard, but my nutrition was a bit of a toss. And I'm like, I'm not burning a certain number of calories by just 
being a vegetable in the house so i better watch what i eat and i was training just as hard in the house so that became uh, a good thing so i lost 6 kilos which is great wow yeah doing nothing That's i mean like yeah so you know and then um uh, then couple more skills i can actually now i think survive uh, you know without my wife and a cook by rustling a few things in the kitchen more than more than scrambled eggs you know <laughs> so <laughs> and frying well, bacon actually, no, this is this is a this is a really important thing that um, to learn life skills cooking cleaning making your bed doing your own dishes washing your own clothes these are life skills this is not something for your bike or your mother or your wife to do all and jadu pocha is actually functional training jadu pocha is functional training do it yeah. squats <laughs> <laughs> but i when i wanted i wanted you you skipped fast something you were studying to be an engineer and you became india's foremost photographer how did you make that switch uh in a uh, class of 60 fe there were only three girls uh and they were and they were all men's iq and way brighter than me <laughs> <laughs> No, no. I just, I just hated, I just uh, hated chemical engineering uh, uh, because I guess I didn't know enough. You know, when I got it, I had the grades to get in 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 in, U, in what was called UDCT, uh, probably the best chemical engineering institute uh, in India by far, and amongst the best in Asia at that time. And uh, then one year down the line, I realized that it's not what I really wanted to do. Um, and then a wise man. namely pralad kakkar of all people who would think that he would quote pralad so pralad pralad told me that 95% of humanity goes to work every day you know and only 5% do what they enjoy you know i'm sure that percentage is a lot better now you know but uh, only 5% do what they enjoy so find out what you enjoy because then you'll never be going to work mm. and i said okay this is interesting because i never want to go to work a single day in my life so that's been my motto so I'm the only one who uh, hops out of bed and is like, is like, you know, all raring to go on a Monday morning, and people are like, "Go away!" You know, where's the, where's the, <laughs> oh, where's it, the? Was it, was it difficult to convince your parents uh, that you didn't want to be an engineer and you were going to be a photographer? No, no, it was really difficult, and with genuinely no disrespect to, uh, you know, people who 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 then shot weddings. The the image of the photographer was the guy who stood at weddings and got everybody in one line and said, "Cheese, steady," you know, whatever. So they were like. no way you know we can't possibly have you doing this kind of thing i said you know there's a different world of advertising which really wasn't uh, that that well known so but i wasn't prone to doing uh, you know stupid things it's not like i ever drove too fast or you know mm. or got wasted too often or whatever so you know i mean i, I guess they figured that he's he's not uh, uh, not a very responsible person yeah <laughs> <Didn't see. laughs> right so um i i do know that you know um, we've been we've all been sitting at home and we've been reading about everything that's going on um i i just want to you know put up this one piece of news that just today uh, the maharashtra government has sent notice to 25000 private mm -hmm. hospital and clinic doctors doctors who are not part of government hospitals but have private clinics or they have private they work in private hospitals and they've been asked to report to work at covid government hospitals because right. we're running out of staff because a there are a lot of doctors who have tested positive yeah. um so they have to be replaced because when you test positive you have to be treated and then 14 days after that you are quarantined and things like that plus the number of cases we have in the city right now is just overwhelming so while it's you know while these doctors have been told to you know present themselves at these hospitals and report to work it's so important to keep our doctors safe because if we don't keep our doctors safe then what are we doing i mean how, what hope do we have right yeah i think i think it would be i think a health healthcare anarchy you know if there's literally no one to take care of you so um i believe the situation's improved a bit now but Uh, at one point about 2 weeks ago 15 hospitals in central and south bombay were pretty much uh, not functioning or functioning literally for emergency cases so really bad time to sort of badly turn your ankle or need some kind of surgery you know that uh, take two crocin and don't call me in the morning you know whatever so what <laughs> one, one of those things but uh, so um i'd been watching actually what manish mundra who's a fellow producer uh, owns a company called drisham films i actually have never met him he's based out of lagos nigeria and uh, he's made some really nice films like kamyab recently which is very good 
uh, then you know Masan and uh, exactly. uh, yeah, yeah, you know and Newton and so on. So and he actually has uh, uh, earmarked the better part of a million US dollars of personal money because he realized this what you're saying very early uh, that if we do not protect our uh, healthcare uh, officials, then it's a very very slippery slope uh, downhill. And my simple philosophy in life is, you know, um, uh, which I think uh, it's not my original one. I'm sure you've heard enough times, but you know, lead, follow, or get out of the way. You know, mm. but you can't be, you can't be the idiot at the society meeting who only sits and tells you what the problem is, but does not join the committee and then does not do anything to help. He only sits and you know, uh, you know, tana maro from piche kind of thing. So. So I thought Manish was doing a spectacular job. So I reached out to him, and uh, and then I spoke to a bunch of stars, who you know, uh, uh, you know, and and they um, and the thing about charity is I've always believed that again, if you can account end to end that ये आपके पैसे लिए और इसका इस्तेमाल यहाँ पे हुआ that kind of you know end to end thing and there's a certain accountability. There's a lot of people who would come forth and uh, you know and give. because it's very scary to give it to some organization or or whatever and you have no idea what has happened you know then it becomes uh, it, like it's a bit nebulous and you wonder if there's a relief fund who got relieved you know so yeah. uh yeah i mean you of your money for a start but you know so <laughs> but uh, uh uh you yeah. know and then the other thing is that there's some kind of gratification so i've been doing this nanikali uh, you know proud fathers for daughters for, for girl child education now, you know for 6 years we've sent what 5000 girls to school and my fellow photographers and i you know will shoot for free and you know and uh, uh, people who come then essentially buy a print and the cost of one yeah. print sends a girl to school for for one year but wow. even if you don't care about girl child education the point is that you're getting some of the better names in the business take your picture and leave you a memory on your mantelpiece for life so you know so the gratification exists so here we've got a shout out uh, you know platform called tring that depending on how much people give and we only count in terms of kits then the stars are uh, you know either make, making a mention or, or or doing a video shout or then even a video call so we've got um, uh, vidya sonakshi now farhan's come on board uh, we das there's mrinal thakur pooja hegde is coming on board a uh, lot of people it's fun So basically, for for people who are watching right now, and here's the here's the important thing. Another thing I want to point out: it's not just about providing the PPEs to the doctors. We also have to properly kit out our nurses, our ward boys, the people who serve the food, the people who are running the hospital and administration. All of these people need to be properly looked after in order to make sure that our healthcare industry can continue to fight this horrible virus. So, if you want to donate a PPE suit, they're about six hundred and fifty rupees each, and you can donate in multiples of six hundred and fifty. Go to tring. co. in uh, on the home page. You will see photographs of all these stars. There's Vidya Balan, there's Sanjay Sinha, Sanjay Bogle, there's Atul Kasbeker, now Veer Das and Farhan Akhtar. Click on the star you prefer to donate to. and that money will go to a to buy a ppe suit and send it to a hospital where are you sending the ones in your name um atul oh no no i'm i'm not that world famous in india so uh, i'm i'm just, i'm just i'm just doing the i'm just doing the collating of uh, of all of it and uh, uh, you know and and having it sent out to wherever it's needed in fact today we put out a tweet and we've got uh, so it goes like specifically uh, either where it's fully required Uh, or uh, you know, if somebody has a preference. So, for example, Pooja Hegde was coming on, I think, from tomorrow. Her uh, yeah. uh, her big base is uh, in Andhra and Telangana because she's a big star in the Telugu industry. So she wants it to go to government hospitals in that region. So fair enough. So so we'll send it wherever uh, it's it's needed most. And now all the CMOs are in touch with Manish directly, and uh, uh, you know it's become a reasonably well-oiled operation. So that's good. In okay. fact, our next stage now is going to be oxygenators. Because right. there's so like a desperate need for those. Hanji. What the website looks like? It's string. co. in, and you guys can go and click on any of these celebrities and make your donations accordingly. Um, you know, pick someone you want to partner with. Mandira Bedi is also there. She's Mandira is so cool. there. Harsha is there. Yes, yes. Oh. Harsha is there. So you can you can click on someone and donate with them, and they will make sure that the money reaches the right place, and that's really important. And not only that, they'll say thank you to you personally, either by yes. writing or on a shout or. a call or oh, they make a call or whatever it is and say thank you to you personally so um yay 
And so far, how many have you done? Or two, I know that Vidya Balan sent about two thousand uh, PPs. That was the first lot that went to Kasturba. There's more coming. I I think we are close to the ten thousand mark. Wow. So yeah. So that's pretty good. And, so, and yeah. again, uh, to just remind our audience that these are disposable. So once they're used, they have to be taken off and thrown away, and the doctor has to then the next time put on a different suit. Which is why you can never have enough of these, and um, you know why this is something that we need to keep doing until this, uh, you know, this uh, boogeyman of the COVID virus is out of our system. Adul Kasbeker, thank you for popping in and, and saying hi to uh, all of our viewers, and of course giving out that really important advice. Remember um, to not hinge completely on one industry to try and pick up more skills that will keep you relevant. Hang in there. This is a tough time for everybody. It's tough financially. It's tough emotionally, and it's tough mentally. And I'm going to try and make you happy every evening at nine o'clock. That's the point. All right. And you're doing so a fine job. Happy. Thank you, Faye. See you. Thank you. So stay home, guys. Stay safe. Stay happy. Good night. Night.